can see. So can I can I see your ID, sir? So can I can I see your ID, sir? So can I can I see your ID, sir? Advised, suspect is armed and considered extremely dangerous. All right, guys, welcome back. You're here today with Anthony X. We're over at the Monterey County Sheriff's Office, just kind of near the county jail, just a few blocks down. Figured I'd come over and check it out. It's getting dark, so probably won't get much footage, but let me know what you think. Sorry, what was the question? Is it everything okay? Absolutely. Okay. You're just kind of recording out here? Oh, yeah. Because of facilities and stuff? Oh, yeah. All right. Not breaking any laws, no ill will intent, anything right. bad. Okay. You from around here? Or? From around somewhere. I'm, around the, I'm from the planet. Okay. Yeah. I think. All right. All right, buddy. Just drinking, make sure you're all right, buddy. Oh, definitely. Appreciate it. Okay. Stay okay. safe. Is there a reason why you're doing that? Well, I don't answer questions. You don't. You don't answer questions. No, but okay, I'm not, I, just so you know, though, I have no ill will intent against anyone. I've already talked to several other people, some high-ranking right. officers. Okay, I understand. So, so can I can I see your ID, sir? So I can. So I, I don't have my ID on me. It's not required, so I'm not driving. I, you are at the sheriff's office here. We yeah, have, and I said we, visitor. This so. is a security facility. I'm not a inside the security. Facility. Right, I understand. I'm a visitor. You're taking videos and photographs of a secured facility. Not illegal. It, absolutely, sir. Actually, you can check with Homeland Security. It's not illegal. Okay. You guys work for us. I'm not giving you my ID unless it's going to be under threat of arrest. Uh, I am asking threat? you to identify. I'm not going to. I, I am asking you. At this you point, I plead the fifth. Yourself. No further questions. Unless I'm going to be arrested, I will identify myself. And then I will I, report I, you. What's your badge number, first of all? Okay. Again, if you have a badge. Can you please set that phone down? You can set it right here. It'll, I'm not going to set my us. phone down. I, said, sir, I, I need to hold accountability, accountability for I, my employees. Sir, you're at the sheriff's department. On public you, access. You, you are taking video and photograph of, of our jail facility. Okay. Yes, you are right now okay. at this point. So therefore, because you're being detained. Would you like detained, me to put my bike down? I, sir, you can put your bike down. Do you have any weapons on you at all? Nope. Okay, do you have any knives on you at all? Nope. You're in a facility. A knife is a weapon. You were in a facility. You saw the signs. You're not allowed to bring any weapons. So therefore, I don't have any weapons. Okay. Okay. Can I? Can I frisk you? Nope. Okay. Sir, again, put that phone no, down. No, I'm me. not going to put the phone down. Okay. I'm right. not going to do it. Sorry, anyone. I wouldn't come onto a sheriff's property visiting okay. Okay. on there with so, weapons. Can I ask and one why of your other video? undercover officers? Well, not undercover. Sorry. Let uh, me can repeat you go that. Ahead and, uh, start another unit for one of your off-duty officers even told me I can come up and check out the memorial, which I just got videos of you that, can, too. absolutely, but you're over there. I saw you walking Yeah, on the, the sidewalk. I, I a, never once passed any place where there's signs saying restricted access. Never. You understand, sir, that this is the I understand that you're welcome to come out and check, but it said this is visitor parking as well okay. and, and public access. You work for me. These are my tax dollars at work. I want to come and check on my employees and my facility, honestly. So I'm not doing anything okay. wrong. If you, again, I'm gonna put my bike down, so I'm not doing anything wrong. Go ahead, go ahead and put okay. it down. Let's get out of the road. Again, put that phone no, down. No, I'm for not me. gonna put the phone down. Okay, I'm right. not gonna do it. Okay, okay. 
Just so you don't have to worry about me, I'm not going to consent to any searches, but huh? I'll let you pat me down though. That way you can check if there's no any weapons, so you don't have to feel uncomfortable if I put my hand in my okay. pocket or something. Okay. You, you do would understand you like, why you like I'm coming up with it. Like I said, I, I have nothing against you. Would but you again, like to pat me down, yes or no? Uh, yes. Go ahead. If you if you allow me to, I'm absolutely. You. Okay. What you got to do, like I said, as a law enforcement officer, I get a complaint, because that's why the reason I'm talking to you, of a suspicious person that's out here videotaping the facility. So recording again, our public facilities no, no, but you're that in, are paid again, by our tax dollars again, is suspicious. I explained to you why. Wow. What the complaint is. You've already detained me once without identifying yourself. You said I'm free to go at this point, that I'm clear, mm -hmm. but you still have to have no name tag. You haven't okay. identified yourself. Do you go by badge number, employee number, or name? How do you go by? I, I go by deputy sheriff, sir. Okay, I'd like you to identify your name because I am going to be making a formal complaint. Absolutely. I would and this like is this. The, this is a building where I will you be can... coming there. I'd like your name. Okay. I don't want to have to go in there and, look and making you look bad because you oh, refuse I, to identify you, yourself. You do what you got to do. I do not, again, do what you got to do. Are you not going to identify I would, yourself? I would appreciate, it, again, if and why don't you like me recording you? I'm not saying that I don't want you. You told to record me about three times, five times. I didn't say not record me. You told me to stop recording. I you said, told me yeah, to put I the film, that, the I, camera down. I, again, for security reasons. When I was recording you, though, you told me to put the camera down. Yes, I asked you to put a camera down so we can speak. And I noticed you have no body cam, so of course I'm going to record for my safety. Right. Again, this facility. You're also being live streamed, just so you know. Okay, that's fine. Again, do what you do. What you got to do. Again. Is there is there a reason why identify you're yourself this? and I might answer one or two questions at my leisure. Well, again, you're not you're not being forthcoming with me. I can't be forthcoming to someone who hasn't identified yourself. Okay. All I know is you have a badge, you have a gun, you're an armed person. I don't know if you're in a gang. I don't know if you're an imposter. How, right. do, I, how okay. do I know who you are? Uh, I see. Okay. All right. Hmm? So tell me what. You tell me your birth date, your birth date, your name, your last name, where you live, and maybe I'll give you mine. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Probably not though. I thought okay. you were. Okay. I thought you were calling for backup. I'm not calling for a backup. I heard you calling for for another unit before. I, I did. I said, so we have but another unit But now that you pat me down, here. so, okay. Say, say again? Well, now that you pat me down, you know, it's probably not necessary. Okay, again. Can you call a supervisor, please? Uh, I'm requesting what, a supervisor. Why do we need a supervisor for? I'm requesting a supervisor. Why do we need a Is supervisor? Is it not your policy to yeah. if someone asks? No. I'd like a supervisor. Why do you need a supervisor? I'd like a supervisor. You tell me why you want a supervisor. I'll talk to the supervisor. Right I don't now. feel comfortable talking to you anymore. Okay. Would you like to step in our office? Nope. I'd like to say here we're in public where nothing bad happens to me, and I'd like your supervisor. Okay. Please call your supervisor. Yeah. Are you not going to call your supervisor? No. So you're refusing a supervisor to a to a citizen I, who pays your salary. There's no reason for me to call a supervisor. The, uh, there is a reason. Do you want to lodge a complaint? Would you like? Do you want to lodge? Would you like the reason? Do you want to lodge? Would you like the reason? I said again. Would you like to lodge a complaint? I'd yes like to no? talk to your supervisor. Okay. If you want to lodge a complaint, absolutely. I'll be more than happy to have a sergeant contact you. Yes. Have him contact okay. me. Okay. Have him come over here. Can you provide me with nope. your phone number? Absolutely not. Okay. You haven't identified yourself. How are you doing? Okay. Hi. Uh, Can I get your name and badge number? I'm Officer Abrazzini with the Salinas Police Department. Appreciate it, being a professional. Mm -hmm. I'd like to start off by, if I may, before, and I'm sure he'll tell you his side of the story. I'm out here taking pictures, all the facility, anything I can see from public access, not going beyond any points that say restricted. I've already had about three contacts with other with one of your high-ranking officers. He was wearing, he just got off duty in a white, can't remember what kind of, like a Cherokee or whatever. He had a bunch of uh, those little dots. He looked like a you know, high-ranking officer. He saw what I was doing, he was okay with it. One of your other officers, a big muscle guy, was over here he even told me to go ahead and take pictures of the memorial over there, which i thought was really cool you know nice memorial over there with the flag and everything i did walk over there because i've never been here before taking pictures i never once went in any restricted area this officer at one point decided to detain me he said i'm free to go now at this point but i'm just having a consensual conversation however he refuses to identify himself he does have a badge he has a gun but he won't identify himself. He won't give me an employee number because I want to make a complaint. I asked for it about five times for a supervisor. He refuses to call a supervisor as well on there. And just so you know, he already patted me down for weapons. So if my hand goes in my pockets because I'm cold okay, on there. But he, he did pat me down already, just so you know. Can you step out of the way real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. And so like I said, can... I, I have no ill will intent against anyone. Okay. I'm out here vi videoing my employees just like, you know, because you're one of my employees too. Just like you're one of your employees because you pay taxes mm -hmm. on there. So I'm just checking out our public officials. Okay. And I really don't appreciate this guy coming up and detaining me without even giving me his name. He doesn't even have a name tag on him. That's very unprofessional. And I don't like appreciate that. Like I said, that. I don't work here, right? I, I know. He I don't know if he called you or someone called you, but, you know, he's, he's still, you know, he might work in a jail. But, you know, to me, it seems like, you know, someone's going to come out with a gun and a badge representing the sheriff's department. They should at least have a name tag. 
at least say, hey, I'm so-and-so with the sheriffs. Can I ask you a couple questions? And then it's my choice to say yes or no. So what I understand about the sheriff's department as well, they sometimes do not have a name tag if it's if they work in the jail in a custodial setting right. because that can be used or taken off or gotcha. broken by any county in custody from that what I've sense. seen before. So, But if he's going to approach me, though, he should yeah. at least identify himself. And even okay. if he doesn't have a badge and minimum, I asked him about five times. I have it on film. I'm live streaming, by the way, just so you know. Okay. And I asked him about five times to identify himself. I mean, sorry, excuse me. I asked him about five times to call a supervisor. And he, his response was, what do you want him for? What do you want him for? He refused to call a supervisor unless I told him. And he, then he told me I can go make a complaint inside the office, which I don't feel comfortable going in there with someone that hasn't identified themselves as law enforcement technically. How do I know, you know who he is? I don't know. At this point, I'm sure it's legit because you're here. Well, but how do I know? Based on his uniform, right, he's, he's wearing a... A duty belt he has patches he has badge everything like that a name tag doesn't signify the 100 percent in the uniform right um my question is for you is what can i do to help you further oh nothing i didn't call you i don't know who I you, i don't know if I'm anyone called here, you you know just i would here. like you to talk to him and ask him if a, if a, if, a, if, a, if the public requests a supervisor when they approach him i don't know how the sheriff's department you know, does there well it'd be stuff, nice to mention but, it to him though um, or if you're going to make a report log it hey a concerned citizen was unhappy that one of their officials came out or representatives excuse me gotcha. representatives okay. came out Talk, confronting me, yeah. detained me, because uh, I even asked him, am I free to go? And at first he said, I'm detained, so I'm, I'm going to obey him just to be safe, you know, on there. Mm-hmm. I even, and I, See, I, even I told him. I don't know what happened with the initial contact. And at right? first I, I told him, to yeah. more, and at but, first I told him he has no permission to search me. However, I saw him getting a little nervous. It was getting cold. I wanted to put my hand in my pocket, so I gave him consent. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, if you want to pat me down, you don't have a right to go into my pockets, but you can pat me down. Because he's like, oh, do you have guns or weapons or knives? I'm like, that's legit. It's a legit question. So to ease his mind, well, I let him pat me down. That is a legit question. It is. Right? I've been be... working in this area for 15 years. They're on there, you know, I mean, so. What do you, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm not going to say what I do. I okay. mean, this, this is part of it right here, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, you don't need me any further. No, um, I, don't know. I don't know if you want me to talk with him, but it's, it's up to you guys, whatever you're calling. No, I don't know if he right? called you or who called you. Yeah. But if you would let, let him know that. Is the, a sergeant if, or anything coming in? Or? What's, yeah, a sergeant's coming over. Okay. So now that he's here, you have a sergeant, but when I asked you, for, for a supervisor, you weren't going to call anyone. Why is that? Well, because you're not cooperating with me. Why should I cooperate with you? How okay. am I not cooperating? Well, did, did I... How am I, I not... Ask, 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 in front of this okay. officer, how okay. was I not cooperating? Again, I, I have everything sergeant, on film. I got a sergeant coming. No, no worries. No, I, you see, he doesn't want to answer in front of you because he knows I didn't do anything. Did I not let you pat down voluntarily? Okay. Did I let you pat me down? Have I done anything to you? Did I let that, you that pat you me down? That you think that you, I violated any of your rights? He even asked me to stop recording him, and I'm not talking I about when I was over that. there. I did. When I came over here, just recording him, he asked me to stop recording him because I don't know what kind of shady stuff he's going to do. Ah. Okay. Don't like the light. Go back inside. Don't mean to be rude. You know, you're very respectful, but this guy approached me wrong, so I am a little unhappy right now. Especially that he didn't call a supervisor when I asked him five times. Probably asked him about a half dozen times to identify himself. At least show me your name or a badge number or an employee number, or whatever. Represent, you know, you represent the. You know, in case I want to make a report. Again, I asked you if you wanted to lodge a complaint. You wouldn't answer me. And my question is, how? Why did you detain me without identifying yourself? I, Originally, I'm in uniform. You're in uniform, but you still have to identify I, I'm yourself. I'm a deputy sheriff uniform. You I have to identify that. yourself. Okay. All right. You could be an undercover cop and come okay. to my house Absolutely. if you have a I'm warrant, but you, ha- you have to identify yourself. You can't just say you're under arrest. Yeah. Did I say you no, were under arrest? No, but you arrest? can't say you're under arrest. You can't detain someone. Did I say someone. you were under arrest? You said I was detained, which was illegal. It was an illegal detainment because you didn't identify okay. yourself. Okay. How do I know you didn't just escape out of there and you got a gun? Right, right. I hear you. Because that never happens, right? Never. It's only in the movies. Right. No one ever escapes. Right. But officer, I do appreciate your help, and you know, I'm sorry to waste your time. Okay. There. I know you guys got a tough job. I was actually over at your facility uh, last week, just walking around, went inside your uh, place, got some pamphlets, and you guys were all very pro- professional. I and mean, I appreciate it. So I'm not cooperating, even though I volunteered to let you pat me down. Okay. I'm not cooperating because I'm recording my public would officials. Allow, would you allow me to talk I'm and not tell, explain rec- to you? I'm not being professional would because you, I'm recording buildings that are paid by my tax dollars. Hey, would you give me a minute so I can explain to you why? You asked earlier, why, why do I believe you're suspicious? This is a jail facility. This is known for people to drop off drugs, weapons, packages. How do I know you're not doing that, sir? I do not know that. And that is the I've reason why I told you. several people walk to cars. Again, again, you're out here recording personnel. So is your recording, is that your okay, only again, suspicion? You're, you're out here recording I don't know that. I've never mentioned. If I was going to do something sneaky, there's okay, can you today's let me, technology. Can you let me explain nope. to you before? With you... today's technology, okay. I could wear some glasses that have okay. little microchips in them. Right. I could have a hidden camera. Okay. 
I could hide in the bushes. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm walking around in public view with my lights on. I'm not it hiding from you It doesn't matter what I say to you. Obviously, I you wasn't already hiding have a mindset. From you. I wasn't hiding from okay. you. Yes, I, I have a mindset did, against did, you. Did I ever tell you you were hiding from me? I said, no. I'm explaining to you. If I'm not listening to you talk, in it's this, because you were area. very rude hold to me on, earlier. Sir. Nope, on. not going to hold on. You don't, there, I, I'm not I, under your command. I'm happy to take you to a site where not said that you're subject out here. For a search, if not you're within under, our facility. I'm not in your facility. Again, I'm on the road. Public Monterey easement. Monterey County Jail I'm on the facility. public easement. Okay. I haven't went past any restricted signs whatsoever, as I explained to you when you first approached me. Okay. Again. And when you illegally detained me. Oh, again. And told me to put the camera are, down. You, you I asked you if you have body cam. You don't have sir. any body cam, so of course I want to record myself for my protection. Okay. Right. And telling, it, telling someone to stop recording you personally while you're on duty with a gun and a badge with no name or anything. Come on, man. That's that's suspicious if you okay. ask me. Again, I just try to explain to you why. Are you in a gang? Okay. Have you been ridden up for any, uh, any uh, you know, any abuse on any inmates lately in the last 30 days? Have you been suspended for that? You wish to remain silent? Yeah, I thought, according to you, it sounds like we're, we're guilty till proven innocent. All right, well, I'm going to take off. I appreciate your time. Well, I got the sergeant coming. Well, that's all right. I'll come back and, and during regular office hours and make my complaint. And I'll show him your well, picture that you refuse to identify yourself. Again, the sergeant's on yourself. the way. You asked for a sergeant. Sergeant's on his way. Yeah, I asked about 30 minutes or 20 minutes uh, ago. Okay. All right. And I asked you about five times okay. where okay. I have you on film refusing. Okay. At this point, I'm going to go home do and have you, some do, dinner. Do, so do have a nice day.